So yeah, um, many years ago, as a young adult and a young mother, I uh, fully intended on getting a job. My plan actually was that I would get a job and my ex-narc would be a stay-at-home dad. That was my plan. That did not happen. When I had my daughter, I had this strong feeling of dread, like I was not supposed to leave her, and it would not stop. And um, the family was like, we're poor, you need to get a job, we can't afford enough, you know. And when are you gonna get a job, when do you get a job? And I push it back and I say, oh, when she's a month old, okay. I'll get a job. But I kept feeling this very strong feeling of dread. And I did not want to be a stay-at-home mom. I always wanted to be out doing things. You know, being successful. And I wanted my ex-narc to be a stay-at-home dad. You know, and I could be out, like, you know, being successful and um, doing things properly and being smart and stuff like that. You know, I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. But I know that I did a good job at things and I was capable, so I didn't want that to go to waste. And so this feeling of dread would not cease and I would keep being pressured to get a job and I just push it back and I try to delay it. And then um, I heard my ex narc and his mom, like they were downstairs and I was upstairs in a guest bedroom. And I heard them talking about like, why I didn't have a job and how I needed to have a job because we were poor and then I just had this feeling of dread but I still was going to get a job because I was supposed to and I was laying down on the bed fully awake not sleeping breastfeeding my daughter and then in the chair right in front of me an angel appeared and told me don't like it was timed with what the ex narc and his parents said to where I was not to leave my daughter and it was very stern command like I had better do what he says and he commanded me not to leave my daughter so my plan of going off and being successful and having a great job and just you know completing and doing everything I put my mind to was now on the back burner and I was going to be a stay-at-home mom and my ex-narc was not pleased that he was now um, going to have to earn money for the family and not be a stay-at-home dad. And it's probably good he wasn't a stay-at-home dad, I will just say that. Because if he was, the house would have been messier faster and he probably would have, like, damaged both of my daughters instead of just one. Anyways, um, you know, well, they are both damaged, but he probably would have had something done where her DNA would have been altered like what I believe happened to my youngest daughter. Anyways, I don't know what would have happened, but it wouldn't have been good because the angel told me to do something. And if I didn't listen, I probably would have screwed us all over. I probably would have destroyed my daughter's life by not obeying the angel. And the angel um, was trying to get the point across to me with this feeling of dread, this strong feeling of dread meant do not leave your daughter because whenever I had the thought of leaving her or someone told me to leave her I would have this feeling but it was weird I've never had that feeling before and it was from outside of myself and it was it was from the angel and uh, I really wasn't getting it because no matter how I felt I still wouldn't do what I desired I still would do what was right and I thought getting a job was what was right so then the angel just had to appear right in front of me like smack me across the head saying, you know, you don't get it. You need to stay with her. Don't leave her. I've been trying to tell you, like, I didn't understand the feeling was not from me. It was from God. And because I thought that was my feeling, my feeling wasn't as important as us having enough money to survive. But then when it was clear that this was a command from an angel. So essentially the angel did not display itself unless it absolutely had to. Like that was the last straw. It was trying to make it clear to me not to leave my daughter. And I wasn't getting that this was from an angel. And I wasn't putting enough importance on my own feelings. So that it just had to show itself to me. And then many years later I made a video and it's here on this channel. 
and uh, I drew a little crappy picture of my angel and I found a picture on the internet on like Google images of like what looked like the same exact angel and I posted that and somebody mentioned they they were told that it was Archangel Michael which it may have been so I don't even remember where this video started I'm gonna pause it for now and I might uh, continue it here in a minute 